Hey, hey, happy Friday, everyone. Mike Cassette here. It is Friday, April 22nd. Uh, I've got some good weather just peeking through the clouds, so it should be a wonderful weekend. Wanted to share uh, my weekly market report like it goes out every single Thursday at 8 a.m. This week, we talk about a little bit of pro property taxes, property tax appraisal values are out for Bastrop County, Caldwell County, Travis County, Williamson County, um, Hayes County, and they have skyrocketed through the roof. So you're gonna wanna check out the site. If you haven't got yours in the mail yet, go onto the site. All the links are in the uh, email, and uh, we've got some other links as far as protesting. Now, when it comes to property taxes and appraised values, property taxes are based in the rears. So 2022, tax values are gonna be based on sales done and completed in 2021. So if you're protesting, you're gonna to wanna to use sales data from 2021. And also if you bought your house in 2021 and your appraised value has gone through the roof and it's higher than what you paid for it last year, then that's an easy solution this year. All you have to do is send in your settlement statement to the tax authority and say, this is what I paid last year. I'm protesting and I would like you to reduce my appraised value to what I actually paid and they have to do that because that's what the value was when you bought it. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, uh, homestead exemptions. You need to file these. It's very important right now. Even if you bought your house in 2022, so far this year, you can still file them. They changed the law. You can file them at any time now with a driver's license and a utility bill. And that will curb your taxable appraised value uh, to 10% year over year of increases. So if you bought your house for $500,000 and they're telling you it's worth 600 uh, and you, you can show you bought it for five, then moving forward with a homestead exemption they, next year, they will only be able to tax you at 550. And then, you know, five, 605, 10% more every year and they'll cap it off. Well, the market has gone up by 20 to 30%. So we have seen an increase in property appraised values by 56% in Travis County. That's a massive number. The city is really coming in hard this year because they know values went up, inflation went up, they need their money too. So if you're not paying attention, you are gonna get bent over on property taxes. Now, if you believe that your values are protestable and you don't have a homestead or you uh, you know wanna protest for another reason, there's a few routes you can go. If you wanna do it yourself, which I do not recommend in Travis County. Travis County is very, very difficult to protest in unless you're a professional that does this all the time. I even hire a company for myself, for my own uh, duplexes and stuff in Travis County because it's so difficult and the uh, they know all the ins and outs that you guys don't know and the rules change, but the professionals, pro Texas Pro Taxes, who I use, um, there's five or six other companies that I'll share with you in the links and they have different pricing schedules depending on what you're, property portfolio looks like, where they are, all of those things. Uh, one company may be a little bit better if you're doing multiple properties. But for me, I'm using Texas ProTax because mine's very complicated um, as well. And uh, um, and then if you are in Hayes County or um, Caldwell County or Bastrop County, those counties are a little bit easier to protest. You're going to need a set of comparable sold properties from 2021 to take to them during your protest to show your new value. So you can call us, I can send you those comps, I can send you all that data and you can go do it yourself or you can call one of these professional companies, the list is in the email, they get paid when they save you money on your taxes. So if they're not saving you money and they can't bring value down, then all there is is a very small flat fee that they just now started implementing. But it's based on a percentage of the amount of money they saved you. So I hope all that information helps and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and uh, keep your property taxes down. It helps everyone when you do that. Have a good one. Cheers.